it's time. It's, it's time for a whip down. It is time <laughs> to go through all of these projects that honestly, I don't remember what's in some of these bags and that's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> so today's video, if you don't know what a whip down is, whip means works in progress. We're going to be going through every single project I have in progress. Um, I took a video for you, uh, <laughs> of the bags at least in the pile beside me. We're going to be going through all of them and deciding if they're going to stay a work in progress or not. Um, I already have some in my mind that I know I'm going to get rid of, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Before we jump on in, my name is Amanda, and there are a few places you can find me on the internet. The main one is birchandlilyfiber.com. You can also find me on Instagram at birch.and.lily, and everything else will be linked down below in the description. I'm gonna try and link everything I talk about today. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna do my best. And yeah, I, I won't go too rambly with this because it's going to be a long one. There's going to be no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to grab things and we're going to see what it is and see if I remember what it is. If I don't, I'll put everything, I'll make sure everything's in order too. And yeah, we'll do our best. First bag I've grabbed right here. This is, this is a fun one. Uh, this is from Mulberry Fiber Co. Just a tote. Um, I do, yes, I do know it's in this one. Um, I believe it's called the he he Hella Helia 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 Designer. Do not know. <laughs> um, but, ooh, what fell here? Cable needle. My cable needle fell. Um, so this one's staying on the needles. I am enjoying this one. I just haven't had tons of time to put progress into it. It's a really beautiful raglan with these cables, the whole sleeves are cabled and then the body is stuck in it. So definitely keeping this one. Um, I had ripped something else out actually to start this one and I'm very pleased with this. It's just a worsted weight project and it's too warm to work on right now if I'm being honest. So this will probably get some more work in the fall is what I'm thinking. Unless I have time on my hands and I feel like working on it, in which case I will happily work on it. Um, this yarn is Woolberry Fiber Co. in the color Poetry. And yeah, really cute. Oh, and right off the bat, we'll explain this because I, I feel like if I don't explain what it is, every single episode I don't, I get a question. This is my row counter that I use to count like what repeat on, I'm on or what round I'm on. They're always linked down below, but I love them. And yeah, this project definitely stays. I think I'm gonna have <laughs> two piles on the floor of staying and not staying so that after I finish recording this I can rip out the stuff that isn't staying. Also this ponytail is ridiculous but I was not doing my hair today. I was not having it. Uh, so crazy high schooler ponytail with a scrunchie it is. Oh I didn't talk about what I'm wearing. Let's do that quick. When I don't have show notes, this becomes a disastrous mess. Um, but I do want to talk about this because the pattern is releasing on Wednesday. So I guess this goes up on Tuesday. So tomorrow the pattern will be live from Emily Curtis. This is my color tip T and it's so cute. It's like a, a partially cropped, you can knit it longer though, t-shirt. Um, really simple, really basic, but I think very sweet. Yeah. I love it. I've worn it a couple times now, actually. Um, it's all knit out of Woolberry Fiber Co. Tweed. Um, this color here is Sandcastle and the darker one is Slow Fashion, I think. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with it. The knit was really fun. Emily's patterns have great information, as I'm sure I've said a couple times. Um, and it was a fun test. This is the first test I've done where, like, there was a major change made. The sleeves weren't fitting right. So Emily went in there and completely rewrote them. Thankfully, I hadn't knit them yet. <laughs> um, but made them perfect. And I think it's a great little tee. So yeah, this pattern should be live very soon. I think that's it. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the whips. Um, I don't even know what's in this bag. Mm. This is a pair of stockinette socks. 
that I obviously haven't touched in quite a while because they're tangled. Um, these are almost done. These are like my movie knitting socks, but have I gone to the movies lately? No. Um, but I don't think I'll get rid of them just for that reason. Um, I don't know what this yarn is. Let's see. Scrumptious Pearl Spring Flowers. Yeah, these can stay. Um, I think they are knit technically, yeah, on a larger needle than I normally use for socks now, but that's fine. I definitely don't want to rip these out. They're great movie knitting still, so those can stay. The bag they're in, this is Birch Grove. These are probably some of my favorite sock knitting bags. And then the, ooh, this one I know is getting ripped out. Okay, <laughs> um, I don't have, do I have the ball band here for this? I don't think I do, um, but I will try and find what this yarn is and it'll be down in the description. I was trying to knit super, super long socks out of these. I'm not gonna wear them. I know I'm not. I'm not gonna wear knee high socks. So <laughs> my plan is to rip this out and eventually once I finish the other muscle bra hat I'm working on, which will probably take a while, but whatever, I'm gonna use this and turn it into another one because it's got this really cool fade. So then I'll basically get two hats in one because each side's gonna be a different color. So you know what? Let's just rip the needles out on camera because that seems fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> This one's going. Um, these needles, where can I set needles? I guess we'll just put them back here, hey? Um, but yeah, this, this will be better suited as a hat project. And I haven't, ha I am not a, knee like I said, I'm not a knee high sock person and that's not gonna happen and that's silliness. So I guess we'll put the, the ripping out stuff over here. Glad to have that. That one I've known for ages. That I was gonna rip out so that was that was an easy choice um here we go another birch grove bag oh um I don't remember what this pattern is called um it's in fit the first 52 weeks of socks again I'll link it down below um but I think I'm gonna rip this out too I just I'm having a hard time with the tension on it because a lot of it, if you can see, all of the texture on that is like holding yarn over the top of the sock. And um, I have a really hard time with tension with that and my tension as we know has changed. So I don't, I'd, I'd rather knit something else out of this. I'm enjoying more textured socks right now anyways, so I know I'm not gonna wanna work on it. Uh, this yarn is Deck the Halls on the footsie base from Volenvine. It's an 80-20 superwash blue faced lester and nylon. Um, so this was part of like my trying to knit 25 socks for Christmas. I still want to do that. I just haven't been in a sock knitting mood. Um, so this yarn I will happily make into something else. But these socks, these socks are not it. <laughs> And I think I was, yeah, I was knitting those on 2.25 millimeter needles as well. And again, I just learned two millimeter needles work better for me for socks. So what are you? This is, these always get so squished when I have them in my cart. And they're lovely bags, but I think it's just because they have waxed canvas on the bottom. This bag is from that crafty little fox and... I think I'm gonna rip this out too. Um, mostly because, it just fell on the floor, I don't even know. Um, again, my gauge has changed. And also I just, for a shirt for me, I don't think I'm gonna wear this color. For, if I was to make like a cowl or something out of it, yeah, I just didn't. This is the Remy Camisole by Kadri. I also just have very little desire to knit like a fully ribbed thing and I didn't gauge swatch for this and I'm pretty sure the gauge is off and I'm just not not enjoying it so I think again this will go this yarn this was like a more so one-off color I had in the shop I think it was called succulents this is my birch sock 80 20 base so 80% superwash merino 20% nylon I just 
I've had no desire to pick this up, so why? And like I said, Gage. Gage is... I'm good now, and I gauge swatch for projects. At this point in time, I was not gauge swatching for projects, and no. Uh, let's save that stitch marker because it will fall on the floor. I'm also looking forward, I've been knowing I have certain needle sizes and not being able to find them, and I think some of them are just sitting on these projects. So, bye bye What are you? I feel like this is a 2.75. Ooh, that's like a 16 inch. I like those. Anyways, this has to go. I have no desire to work on it. I have other projects I'm loving more. Ooh, <laughs> there's some cute stitch stoppers in here. Pac-Man and the little ghosty. Um, we will save those as well. But yeah, not, not feeling it, not. The color isn't right for me. And I think I was just casting it on to cast it on because everyone else was making it last summer. And so, um, let's grab you. Oh, I always forget where this pin is from. The bag is Birch Grove. I'll try and figure out where that pin is from. I was gifted it. So you'd think I would remember, but <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I know what these are. They are socks I am knitting for my mom. And I really should finish them. Maybe this will be her Christmas present this year. I'm using... I've taken the... I think it's called the Hibernation House sock pattern from Lindsay Fowler and kind of modded it. I almost have the first sock done. Um, and I'm using... This is commercial yarn. The tag is in here. Um... Diamond Select Winter Flower in the color, does it have a color? Sometimes these, oh, color eight. I know that doesn't mean very much, but that's the tag. Um, so I'm using that, and then I'm also holding for the cuff, a Surrey. This is from Sugar Plum Circus in the color Sea Glass. So I do want to finish these. I will have to put these in the running and try and get them done for Christmas. Um, but yeah, so I think what I changed, I think the cuff on the original pattern is a one by one twisted rib. So I did a two by two rib. I did just a normal slip stitch heel flap and gusset, which I don't think the pattern has. I think it's a textured heel. And then I'm doing a different patterning on the foot as well, which I don't think I've written down. Oh. All I'm doing is two rows of knit one, purl one, and then two rows of purl one, knit one, is all it seems to be. So it's just a pretty textured pattern, something that doesn't like, it, it works decently with the striping because this yarn is self-striping. So these are knit, I think, on the wrong needle size technically too. Yeah, they're on a 2.25, but I'm not worried about it because they're supposed to be more of a slipper sock. So if they're a little bit looser, that's fine. But these can stay. I will finish these. Um, What's in here? Oh, yeah. I know this is going to... I'm going to pull this out too. I want to use this bag for other things. And I've had this project sitting in here and I just... It doesn't make me happy. I also have... Other things in here that should be put away. Yeah, like stitch markers and such from Twice Sheer Cheap. This is from Twice Sheer Cheap. Ah, too. And it's so cute. And I should be using it, but it's been hiding in this bag. Um, these are. Oh, what are these called? Bits and Bobs socks, maybe? I have torn these out and recast them on a bajillion times because um, I can't get the gauge right on them. This was kind of in the middle of all my gauge issues too and then I didn't like the colors I picked. I'm trying to use scrap yarn. I don't like the yarn I've picked and I've had no desire to work on these. So like I said, I've, I've cast them on and off so many times in hopes that I can make them work and they're not working and it's not worth my time. So they can go, this bag is also from Boy Sheared Sheep and it's so nice like with the leather bottom and stuff. So I would rather have like, I could probably fit a t-shirt product in here, honestly. So 
we'll use this bag for something else. And the yarn will just go back in all of my scrap yarn, which is totally fine. I'll find something to use it for. Um, likely a scrappy blanket or something. But those socks just... I, as you know, I haven't been knitting as many socks lately, and I still like to have the odd sock on my needles sometimes, but most of the ones on my needles now I just don't want to work on and it's not worth it and my project little cart that I have is like overflowing and I'm overflowing all over the house and I bought let's put those needles back there uh, maybe I'll I don't know if I have a picture on my phone of it but I bought the coolest old dresser it's like half chest half dresser and I'm currently like halfway through sanding it down and I'm gonna paint it I think it's a little bit too beat up I think to be able to stain it um but I'm, I'm redoing it so that I can put all my projects in there on the main floor but for now I still just have my cart and it's overflowing and it's not working <laughs> so this is good this is clearing my mind um and we've already got rid of what one two four projects so that's good. What's in here? This bag is from, I should know this, the Striped Tangerine? Correct. The Striped Tangerine. It's a Star Wars bag. Uh, this is my Lento sweater, which I will definitely keep. Um, I love this so much. I just... It got set aside as well, I think, because it's so warm. Um, because it's fingering weight and Surrey alpaca. Um, you can see the color a little bit back here. It's like a really pastel pink, blue, and purple. Um, and I'm split past the sleeve split already, so I definitely don't want to get rid of it. I just, too warm. I, to work with Surrey on my lap right now is just not appealing to me. But I will continue to work on this. Um, and I have the prettiest progress keepers on this from Hello Lavender. Some of her, uh, it's focusing on my face, but I can't see. Okay, we'll go like that and hope it focused. <laughs> These are some of her, like, reused scrap markers, and I love them. The little sweater. Okay, so keeping this, just hibernating it until the winter, which is totally fine. Okay, I can't reach, I can't reach the bottom of my cart, so let's do some of the stuff on the floor for now. This is my, I think it's called a Habitation Throw by Curious Handmade. I didn't bring all the yarn over because there's lots going into it, but I will continue to work on this. It's very fun. Um, I'm using the reindeer collection from Volenvine. It's like a Christmas collection of every single one of the reindeer, so like Dasher Dancer, all that stuff. And I'm just slowly putting it in there. I'm holding it double. And yeah, this can stay. Um, I work on it sometimes when I'm working out, which sounds so silly. Um, but because it's a blanket, I'm not terribly worried about the gauge. And so in between doing sets and stuff, I'll pull this out and put a couple stitches on. And it motivates me to want to work out, which I feel like is worth it. So this can stay. I think I have maybe one or two more colors to put in after this and then I'll start the sequence all over again which is kind of fun so I love the blanket pattern it's great garter is so squishy and fun um let's see this bag I think yeah this just has scraps in it that I'm putting into I love this bag my parents got it for me from somewhere in Europe I don't know um, this has scraps that I've like kind of picked through for or picked out for my northeasterly blanket which again I haven't worked on that in quite some time but I'm not gonna get rid of it um, the rest of it I have in this bin because if I leave it out out my dog she doesn't like to eat yarn but she likes the paper tags 
that I roll up and stick inside the yarn cakes. So if I don't keep it in a container, she steals all the yarn ball bands from me. So now no worries about eating yarn. She won't eat the yarn, but she will eat the ball band, um, which I think she did with this one. I'm gonna say, <laughs> whoops. This I haven't shown in ages. This is my northeasterly blanket and I think I'm gonna have to set this down. Um, oh wow, I have more done on this than I remembered. Um, one day I'll pull this out again. It's just a beautiful blanket using scrap yarns. Oops, did I just pull out my needle? Oh, phew. I thought I did, I did not, we're good. We are good. So yeah, I'm just putting scrap yarn in and then I'm alternating it with this is Knit Picks Stroll in Dove Heather, I think. So I'm just doing a chevron of that in between each color. And my plan is to make like a big, huge king size blanket. So there's, there's still lots to go on this, but I worked on this a lot at the start of COVID because I couldn't focus on anything else. And so this is what I picked up and I love it. Um, yeah, this will stay. I, I go through phases with it and that's fine because scrappy projects are long-term projects. This isn't getting finished fast anytime soon. And I'm gonna have to, this bin is almost too small. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to sort through and reorganize this. So I'll be able to close it again. Actually, I think I got it, maybe. No. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Let's grab this one next. If you've been around for a while, you know what's in here. I guess I probably show this side more. Um, this is my Anessa Dora shawl. This is my Christmas um, advent project from last year, so 2022. Uh, the pattern is from Lindsay Fowler. And I'm like halfway done with this. Again, this is kind of like my northeasterly blanket where I'm not concerned about working on it all the time because it's a scrappy project in a way. Um, but I'm still working on it. The nice thing about this is you don't have to weave in ends. So I'm busy with test knits right now. We all know my issue with that, <laughs> but this will get finished. This can stay. Oh, but I should take this out of there. I don't know why this is sitting in there. This was the um, Christmas day skein from Stress Knits and it's sitting in that bag, probably from when I opened it when I was at my parents' house over Christmas and I put it there so I wouldn't forget it and then I've forgotten it's in there. Um, it's called In My Hometown. It's on Stress Knits 8020 base. She is not dying right now. Um, She's taking a break for the good of her family, which I applaud her for, so yeah. Anyways, beautiful. I don't know what I'll make out of it. Maybe a hat, but this can go in my stash. Um, what are you? I think this is, first of all, another uh, That Crafty Little Fox bag. Yes, this is my half and half triangles wrap. This can stay as well. I am in the middle of a row on it. And I'm not super far, but this is just another like mindless, don't need to think project. So this can stay on the needles. I'm using Pearl Soho Linen Quill for this. And I only have one color caked up right now. What color is this? Um, if I can get the ball band out of the middle, it's quite squished in here. This is oatmeal gray and it's a really cool it's got like barber pulling almost so there's like a gray color and then more of an oatmeal-y color hence the name I guess um, but this can stay on my needles I like this project it is fun if you want any more information about something I've talked about just ask me down in the comments I do not mind I just don't want to go too much into projects because this is going to be a long video as it is, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to try and figure out more information for you if I can. I just didn't write show notes. So Birch Grove bag. This one's really cute. This I know is getting frogged. I want to knit something else out of this yarn, but I just 
very poorly chose the pattern. I can't even remember what the pattern is called, to be honest. Um, but it'll be down in the description. But you can't even see the color work on this. And I thought it would get better, and it's not. And so I'm not going to be happy with it. And I would rather cast something else on, or a different pair of socks on with this yarn. This is Wilberry Fiber Co. I think it's called Lake of Shining Waters. It's from their Anne of Green Gables collection. Yes, Lake of Shining Waters. This is the sock set. Um, so I think this is better suited to something with like really blocky color work or um, just doing heels, toes, and cuffs in the contrast color and the rest of the sock, something textured. So I'm going to rip this one out, but I'm going to leave the needles in there um, because I will eventually cast on something new with this, just not, or another new sock with this rather, but just not this one because it's not working and that is my own fault for thinking it would and knowing it wouldn't at the same time. So I guess we'll put this over here with the projects because I'm still going to do something with it just not that. It's not going back into stash. <laughs> I don't even know what's in this bag. This is Birch Grove again. Ah um <sighs> This is a beautiful sock pattern that I test knit. Um, it's in 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 2, um, but I test knit it before it went in there. And then I should have, well, I should have first of all picked a larger size to test knit it because it's color work and my color work knitting is tighter. But then I ripped out my test knit and cast it back on, but instead of going up a size, I was like, no, no, I'll just like loosen up my knitting and it'll be fine. So beautiful sock, love it, but it's too tight and it's not gonna fit my foot. So I think again, mm, I also think again, the colors aren't great for it. If I'm being honest, you can't really see what's going on so maybe this will be the same or have the same fate as the previous socks where I rip this out and knit something new with it. Um, this is Woolberry Fiber Co. again. What sock set is this? It's called Hearth. It's beautiful, but it's just not, this pattern is not suited for it. Oops. This pattern is just, gosh, what is going on with my hair? Um, this pattern is just not suited for it, so I think I need to cast on something else. So we'll pull this one out too and put it in the, uh, want to cast something on with it soon, but not this pile, I guess. Now I have three piles going. This room is a mess. I'm gonna have so much cleaning to do when I'm done. This. This project I'm pretty sure I showed last episode. I haven't made any work on it, but I do want to make work on it. This is the Manhattan Hat by Tori Yu. Um, this can stay. I literally just cast this on and it's a gift that will one day go to the recipient. This bag, I don't know where it's from, but it's cute. Um, but yeah, that Manhattan Hat can stay. This yarn is a new colorway I've came out with. It's not in the shop yet. Partially because I just haven't dyed it on all my bases. Um, I've been not in the dyeing mood. My neck, we're gonna go into a tangent about my body, um, but I think I pinched a nerve in this side of my neck and it's in so much pain and I just have no desire to go downstairs and lift heavy pans of water and look down and hurt my neck more. So that's part of the reason I haven't dyed up more of this. If you are interested in it and you want it in the shop, let me know and I will try my darndest to get that in there soon. But the Manhattan hat may stay. Okay. I've been thinking about this project for a while. I'm pretty sure I've come to a decision with it. I don't think many people are going to be happy with my decision <laughs> with it, but um, this is this is what I've decided. So, um, is this called the Amara sweater? Oh, first of all, 
This bag is from Brooklyn Haberdashery. Amara sweater. <sighs> Maybe when I'm looking at it now, I will... See, this is making me second... I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I will keep it. I don't know. On one end... The gauge, I'm just having gauge issues with it and I'm not sure. Maybe I should, hmm, maybe I should steam block it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna steam block this and see, I haven't even shown it to you yet. This is my Amara sweater. I'm gonna steam block this and see, my biggest gripe with this is the brioche is not as deep as the other stuff and I'm pretty sure I think if I block it it will fix that um yeah I'm gonna steam block this um the other thing <laughs> that I can't get out of my head is so it has a split in the back and my husband called it a penguin butt And now it bothers me. <laughs> like, I guess I could seam it together and get rid of it. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a maybe. It needs steamed. <laughs> And we'll see what happens with it. When when I was thinking about recording this video, it was in my head that I was going to rip it out. But the more I look at it, I still like it. <laughs> I just need to make sure what I want to do is going to work. Yes. Okay. We're going to steam it. This is going to be steamed. Um, did I say the yarn? This is Explorer Knits and Fibers in Fia. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I guess it's better back here. It's like a creamy color with all sorts of pastel, like blues and purples and greens. It's beautiful. Um, and I do really, yeah. I hadn't pulled this out in a while and I think I had a different picture in my mind of what it looked like. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm happy with it again. So we will, I'm spending too much time on it. This is, I'm gonna steam block this and we'll see what I think at that point feel like that's the best choice and if I still don't like what's going on with the brioche once I've steam blocked it then it can go but for now it will stay oh this one is another first of all it is covered in dog fur um because it's been in a corner for a while so that says how I feel about it um I can't remember where this bag is from but I put all my pins on this bag it's a very fun fun bag um I think I'm gonna rip this out. I don't wear shawls. I love the concept of the pattern. I love how it looks. This is the pressed flower shawl. Oh, that's where that stitch marker went. I've been missing this. I'm gonna take that back. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> just don't wear shawls and I think I would rather have a pressed flower sweater which is a thing now um now I don't know if I have enough yarn for I need to see how much yarn I actually have for the shawl and compare it to the sweater um because if I could make like a little cropped sweater like this instead. Now, am I gonna want to, well, it's been so long since I knit this that I feel like it would be fun again. Um, but I, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna wear it. So, I'm gonna rip it out. I just, yeah. It's a beautiful pattern. I have nothing against the pattern. 
I just have learned in the past while I don't wear shawls and for the amount of work that goes into a shawl it's not worth it um what am I knitting this on 3.75 millimeter needles I just yeah I I would rather knit something else so this is gonna go I've had zero desire to pick it up for like the past year which I think says something and if you knit a pressed flower, flower shawl and you love it, wonderful. I love the stitch pattern. Like I said, that's kind of why I want to knit like a sweater or a cardigan version of it. So I'm going to look at what I have for yardage with this yarn um, and then kind of go from there and see what I'm going to make out of it. But yeah, it's just... Like the, I say I don't like shawls and then I'm knitting the half and half triangles wrap, but that one is a little bit different to me because I think I'm going to use it more as a blanket and then like as a, okay, I'm cold. So I'm going to take this with me and wrap it around my shoulders, but I'll use it as a blanket because it's going to be quite big where this is just a shawl that I'm never going to wear because I'm not a shawl person. So this is going to go and I will repurpose this yarn for sure for something else. Um, I'm just using my Birch DK base undyed and then the other yarn I am using is Berry Home DK. It's 100% non-superwash merino and the colorway is Herb Garden. It's beautiful. So yeah, I definitely want to repurpose this for something else. It's just this shawl is not it for me. So it is going. Another Birch Grove bag. This is a recent project. It will definitely be staying, um, but I've made more progress on it since last episode. So it's kind of fun to show. This is my resource raglan. It's a pattern coming soon from Sarah Opie. It's like the, the raglan sweater knitting Bible, basically. You can pick whatever you want and do whatever you want and make the raglan of your dreams. <laughs> so this is mine. I've split for the sleeves now. I just love that v-neck. It's so pretty. Um, so this is staying, of course. Um, I think I'm due to have, I think I have a month left on this. So lots of time. Um, but yeah, definitely staying. This colorway is Marvelous from my shop on the Birch DK base. And I love it. Um, this project, this bag is from Wool and Honey. This is my, what is it called? Her Heritage quilt? Cardigan? I think. Um, anyways, this is also staying. This is another test knit that's not due for a while, so it's kind of been put on the back burner for a little bit, but it's beautiful. And I'm using all sorts of pretty, like, vintage-y looking yarns for it. Um, so this will be staying. I just have had some other stuff that I've had to work on for the past little while. Um, this whole bag is just plum full of yarn for it, so I'm not gonna show you all the yarn, but it's a beautiful pattern coming from Katrin Seeberger soon. That may stay. I'm gonna get a stacking room over here. I should have put the keep on this side and the get rid of on this side, but that's okay. This one, I know what this is. Uh, this is the Sub Alpine Cowl from Lindsay Fowler. Another test knit that I haven't really done much on, but I will be picking up again very soon. I'm using Wanderlust from my shop, which is like a gray base with all sorts of rainbow speckles and then graphite also from my shop, both on Birch DK. Um, this will knit up so fast because it's color work and color work flies. I just, again, have had a couple other things I needed to work on and this had a really loose and long like deadline that I just didn't bother to work on it yet. Funny enough, <laughs> this um, bag is from Lindsay Fowler's Project Bag Making Days, which she no longer does, um, but I've got her test knit in it, which I thought was kind of funny, but that will be staying. I have 
three more bags and I think four projects among said bags. So we're getting there. Um, this is, where's this from? I won this in a giveaway like years and years and years and years ago. And it doesn't have a tag on it, which is sad because I would love to tell you where it's from. Ah, yes. These socks have been on the needles for three years and I don't know what to do. Um, I have one sock done and then I have that much done on the other sock and I think I should finish them. There's, they're too cable-y for a sock. Um, there's just so much going on that you have to pay so much attention and with a sock I don't want to pay that much attention anymore. Sorry I'm trying to put it on my hand so you can see the cables. Um, it's beautiful. It's sorry Nordland pattern. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, I should just finish it though. I have one sock done. <sighs> I just don't have any desire to work on it, which makes me feel bad. Do I rip it out? I think, <laughs> just sitting here with a sock on my hand, I think I'm gonna put it back in my cart. And if I haven't thought about it in a couple months, I think I'll rip it out. But for now it can stay because there's not tons left on it yeah I think we'll do that because I have knitting guilt is that a thing I don't know um this is a Christmas sock set from Explore Knits and Fibers under the mistletoe and Cabernet this is like old old vintage Explore Knits tags like made herself and cut out tags I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> I love this sock set I just yeah I think hmm. let me know down in the comments I feel like everyone's gonna say rip it out because I don't look that excited about it it's just the yarn is beautiful and I definitely want to have something made out of it but you know it would make a really pretty hat. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to do what I said and I'm going to leave this for the time being. And if I don't touch it, then it'll come out. But for now, it can stay. I knew I was going to feel that way about that one. It, it's been in the back of my mind. Every once in a while it pops up and it's like, hey, hey, you, remember this project? You've had it on your needles for like three years which probably is the answer that I need. The fact that it's been on the needles for three years, but that's what it is. Um, this is new project. Haven't worked on it since last week, but it's staying. This is my Maybury cardigan, which I'm testing for Amy Loudon. It's beautiful. It's going to be a full squishy fisherman's rib, beautiful cardigan. Um, I'm just finishing up one other test knit which I should be done within the next day or two I'll show you in a second um and then this one is going in the docket and I'm really excited so um yeah this bag is from Jenna Rose Handmade I'm in love with her bags I want more but they're, <laughs> they're not expensive per se for what they are because she hand prints all of this fabric so but the shipping is expensive <laughs> so yeah Love the bag though. Beautiful. Great for carrying around and like knitting on the go. So I do like it. And the Maybury cardigan is staying. And we are down to the final two projects. Also in a Jenna Rose handmade bag. Um, we have my Surrey V-neck tee by Kadri. This one is almost done. I've got so much done since last time I talked to you um, because this is due next week and I like I said I should be able to finish it in the next day or two 
Mm, we'll go this way. Ta-da! I'm working, so it has a split hem, um, and so I'm working on the front part of the split hem, and then I just have to pick up and do the back of the split hem, and it's done. So this is obviously staying. I think it's so cute. Um, I don't have anything like this where it's got like the V in the front and the back. I'm really excited to be able to wear that. Um, and I think it's a really fun project. Uh, do I kind of hate myself for committing to a fingering weight test knit that had like a month? Yes. My hands hurt a little, <laughs> but it's been really fun and I think it's really cute. So this will continue. That Progress Keeper is from Denim and Rain and it's absolutely adorable. And yeah, continuing to, oh, yarn. This is Serendipity from my shop on our birch sock base. And the final project is basically done. I just have to weave in ends and I think I'm gonna steam this, not like full on block it. Um, but this is my Marigold Tea. There are so many ends on this. <laughs> Um, this is my Marigold Tea, uh, coming soon from Winter's Weather Knits, and it's done. It's really cute. I still see the issue with the seaming, the kitchener stitch there. I'll see if the, the steaming fixes that, um, but the collar is on. I seamed the whole sides of it, and I'm really proud of how that looks. Um, and yeah. It's done. It just needs ends woven in and a good block. So this obviously is staying and I'm excited to wear it. I think it's going to be a really nice um, layering piece if I have like a tank top on and I don't want to wear like a cardigan or a sweater. I could just pop this over top because it's still airy enough that it won't be too warm, but it'll keep me warm enough. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with that. But yeah, I just have ends to weave in and it is finished. So that is that. Let's see. Ooh, I just snagged it. Great. Oh no. If you ever snag anything, if you just like keep pulling it like this, back and forth in like every direction, it fixes it. It's just more a nuisance than anything. There we go. All fixed. <laughs> okay. So let's count. Wow. That is stunning hair. Uh, <laughs> five projects. I am getting rid of five projects. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, Cause I am obsessive and I knew I wasn't gonna get rid of tons of stuff, but five I feel like is pretty good. I feel good about this. And I'm trying to think if I have any whips hidden anywhere else in the house, cause I do that. Uh, sometimes I'll set something down and forget. Oh, I know what I forgot, my muscle bra hat. Um, I'm not gonna grab it. You've seen it plenty of times. That's staying, that's my travel knitting project. So it's in my backpack, which is why I forgot it in the first place. Um, but that will definitely be staying. I'm pretty sure that is it. So, couple iffy projects. I'm sure I will figure that out in a few days. Hopefully now I'm going to clean out my little cart here and hopefully everything fits on my cart until I get my dresser done. <laughs> um, it's currently, we have two garages and one is the garage my husband works out of. He loves doing car stuff. So that's like his little mechanics garage. And then the other garage is storage and he needed room. So he asked me if I could move or if we could move the dresser to the storage garage, which doesn't have power. So I haven't been able to work on it, but I asked him last night, he said we can move it back to the garage with power. So that should mean I can work on it soon, which is great. Um, Cause yeah, I just need to sand it down. And then I think I'm gonna paint it with chalk paint, but I haven't decided on a color yet. I think I might just go honestly with white cause it's nice and classic and our kid, well, what I would really like to do, but he's not a huge fan of it, but maybe I can change his mind, is paint the body of the dresser white and then keep the drawers and stain them. Because our kitchen table's like that. The, the top of it is wood, but then the base is um, painted white. We'll see. I'll think about it. Anyways, I'm sure I showed you pictures earlier of the dresser if I found them, but 
it's so cool and I'm excited to have it and just be able to put all my projects in there and have the main floor look tidy is kind of my thought because right now even with them in my cart it looks like a mess so <laughs> that's my plan but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this today there's some stuff in here I haven't showed in quite a while so it was kind of fun for me too that's that's about it that is that is all we have today the whip down is done my mind feels clearer already <laughs> If you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next week for a regular podcast episode. Bye!